I'm teaching here at DNG with the little boys, teaching them their first ballet class. It really inspired them to see that dance is something that is not for girls or is not for a certain type of person, it's for everybody. They are all overlapping themes and symbols that uh, repeat themselves in different ways in different pieces. Andy Warhol was a classmate and he asked me, how is it to be famous? How does it feel? There's only a few people that can say they play in the NBA. There's only a few people that say they are Green Berets or Delta Force and there are only a few people that can say they're filmmakers. And really nothing scares me about being on stage and being heckled or being in front of strangers and having them look at me because that's literally happened to me my entire life. When you put yourself in front of a canvas and, and you're attempting to create something, you want to remember all of those emotions that you feel every day and allow yourself to try to explain all this chaos. You really need to be present and with the other actor. And because if you're not that, you're somewhere else. And how are you gonna be able to act well and interact with that actor if you're someplace else? Art is a catalyst for conversation. Embracing our differences provides an open forum for students to discuss different abilities and to talk about what makes a community work. The purpose of Black Theater is to keep those stories, the experiences alive. If you don't tell your story, who will? So I'm just continually firing as the water ripples in front of me. It's a really nice process to go through and very accessible for someone who's visually impaired. My intention was to build a combination home and studio. There wasn't enough horizontal land for my, for my plan. I built the castle because I had to build up instead of out. We've identified over 250 artists that live in about a mile square area. And more and more artists are moving in. And it's really exciting to see how all of this is happening.